Aaron Orange here, ready to field your questions. And now to select our next question from the magical question toilet. <laughs> what the? All right, never mind. I'm not even going to ask. Joseph Angelo Zacharias wants to know how to train your dragon. I love that movie. No, your dog. He wants to know how to train your dog. Oh, well, that's not quite as exciting. <laughs> well, it's the question we got, so let's get to it. Step one, start with one very simple command, like sit or stay. Or breathe fire. Ah, orange, we are not training a dragon. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, next, reward your puppy's good behavior. If your puppy obeys a command, reward it with a dog biscuit or something. But it's possible that your puppy might be hungrier than that, so be prepared to feed him an entire horse if need be. What? Also, your puppy's wings might be a little cramped because he's never used them before. If that's the game. Orange, I'm not going to say it again. What? Puppies can have wings. Actually, no, they can't. Well, I believe puppies can do anything they want. If a puppy wants to breathe fire and fly, who are we to say no? If a puppy wants to grow up to be a dragon and tries really, really, really hard to change its DNA into dragon DNA, then... We are not going down this path, dude. Next step. Train a dragon to train your dog. <laughs> what? Or train a dragon to train you how to train your dog. Whichever is more efficient. Neither of those are efficient. Why wouldn't you simply just train the dog? Ooh, train the dog to train itself. That's not how it works. Train a train to train a dog. <laughs> oh, and you've done it. This video is officially derailed. <laughs> hey there, fruit lovers. Have you ever yearned to ride a horse at sunset on the beach? Have you ever yearned to ride a horse on top of a horse on top of another horse? Well, I sure have. That's why this week, Pear and I are gonna show you how to ride a horse on top of a horse on top of another horse. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> Knife. <laughs>